Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scrambled Brains Words Cast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Bell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. It's episode 121. One point twenty one Jigglebox. Oh, great Morning, we gotta go back. What the hell's a gigawatt? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I don't know the next line. <laughs> I, don't know. Yeah, I don't think he ever answers it. No. No. What the hell is a gigawatt? It's like, uh, you know, it's a bolt of lightning, basically. Uh, great yeah. Scott! 20 mm. <laughs> it's close enough. 1.21 20 gigawatts! <laughs> That's how that he reacts to that. How can I be no so wonder your president's an actor. Everybody has a portable f- uh, <laughs> yeah. a movie studio. Uh, He's so look good on television. Oscars uh, was the other night. Oscars. Yeah, I watch Oscars. Totally I didn't watch it. Missed it. Totally missed it. Leo won his uh, his uh, best uh, actor. Oscar, yes. Finally. And you know what? All the uh, he Susan Lucci that shit. Yeah, and you know, you know oh, what? And Ennio Morricone did too. Yeah, you know the whole uh, poor poor guys never won an Oscar memes. Those have been replaced with fuck you guy memes. Gets up there talks about global warming. Yeah. And it, the, the 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 main meme these days is it shows a picture of says get, you know wins an Oscar gets up spends his time talking about about greed corrupt you know greed and corruption and how we have to do our part to you know stop global warming has four houses and a yacht mm-hmm. <laughs> What's a, or or this guy hey 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 that yacht runs on biofuel yeah and yeah. which is I'm sure is so so cost efficient <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio he wipes his ass with hundred dollar bills. Yeah, and you know how many trees had to die so he could wipe his ass with hundred dollar bills? It's true. Not anymore. He took your money. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> hey, he's That's the n- same amount of money. He just took it all from you. <laughs> let me let me put it to you this way: I Leo DiCaprio's never gotten any of my money. I've never Let's see. I've never gone um, to the movies to see Leonardo DiCaprio. I, s- I saw Titanic, but everybody saw Titanic. Okay, I, I will say I probably back in the day had to rent something. No, I saw it in the theater. I um, saw Django Unchained in the theater. I, yeah, I, nope. I got. I yeah. didn't even pay for that. I got that for free. I rented it for free. I should say. I rented it for free. Well, I got it from the library, oh. and we rent movies, but we rent don't charge people to rent them. So, oh well, there you go. Sort of the same policy as books. books. Mm. Um, um, I mean, and you know what else though? It what took home a shit ton of awards? Mad Max, Max. Fury Road. Yeah, I which that. I was like, yes, totally deserving. Probably deserved more than it got because that was the best movie <laughs> I saw last year. Uh, Avengers two. It was better than Avengers two. Um, Wait, did that? What else oh. was last year? Ask me if it was Ant better. Man. Was it better oh, it's pretty good. No, <laughs> Ant Man. I was like, ask me if it was better than Star Wars. Go ahead, I dare you. <laughs> I don't know. Spectre was up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, Ant Man. That's a good pull because I really <laughs> liked Ant Man. See. I don't know if I liked it more than Fury Road, but they were up there. They're probably my two favorite films of last year. Mad yeah, Man. Mad Max won a lot, and then next year's the year of Deadpool. I, I can't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If that wins Oscars. <laughs> yeah. I nice. want it to be nominated for Best Picture. I want it. Just so just like, fuck you, Academy Awards. If they didn't vote on that internally, that would happen. Here's what's going to happen. Next year, usually, sometimes it seems like like the newer movies that's still fresh in people's minds. Yeah, get the awards. But anything because like, Revenant came out at the end of the year. Yeah, so it's fairly recent. Yeah, anything that's fan like fan <clears throat> choice awards, Deadpool will probably take it away. Anything that's little, the it's going to win a shit ton of Golden Globes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. But what about uh, do they still do those Nickelodeon? Oh uh, no, oh, I'm sure. Uh, well, that's <laughs> oh not- god, I hope not. <laughs> For the best sex Deadpool scene in a get, movie. Uh, he'll get slimed with a <laughs> bucket movie of blood. movie you didn't get to see. <laughs> yeah. Or shouldn't have. Deadpool. Yeah, shitty parent. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll probably win some People's Choice Awards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got our urn fist. Mm-hmm. And I have never heard so many people bitch that a white actor got a white role in my life. <laughs> no, no, I've... I remember when Tom Holland got to be spied. Oh, another white Peter Parker. That I'm like, Peter true. Parker's white. But, you know, I hate that. Can't we have a black Spider-Man? It, we do. It's Miles Morales. But they're not doing Miles Morales. It's the whole you don't want a stereotype. It's like, well, that's just a stereotype. So let me get this right. It's a martial artist. So he's got to be Asian, right? Well, no. 
he's a That's a guy. stereotype. That's a stereotype. Right. Just because they're ripping off Kung Fu mm-hmm. doesn't... Oh, uh, yeah. Well, like these came out the same time like Luke Cage did, where they, they was getting jumping on the Black Plum. Oh, yeah, and yeah. This was jumping on the, the, you know, yeah, the, the Bruce Lee Kung movie. Fu-y. Yeah, the oh, Kung yeah. Fu-y movies of the 70s. And it was, yeah. I, I was never a big Iron Fist guy. I like Luke Cage better. Yeah. You no, know, I'm blonde hair. Well, I don't know. Eye. I've never read anything with Iron Fist in it, as far as I I've know. I've read some Heroes for Hire. Yes. Yeah, he was. He must now, have been he's in so much Infinity better Gauntlet when he's teamed up with Luke Cage. Yeah, it's, it's a much yeah, more enjoyable doesn't. book. Yeah, no, you got this. You know, it's the Laurel Hardy straight man. Yeah, I mean, imagine if Green Arrow and Green Lantern got along. That was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what What's the point? Oh, I know, I know, but they were like buddies and they hung out and it was it was uh, pretty cool. Uh, uh, yeah. They actually did a good. Uh, it was Earth's Mightiest Heroes a couple years back. Oh yeah, with they're, they're, they were on that. And it was more or less, you know, something's going down in the city. The Avengers is gone, and Iron Fist is like, come on, Luke, we got to go help. So, is there a paycheck in it? No. <laughs> well, no, I don't think so. Well, let's go help. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like, well, right. geez. I don't do this for fun. Yeah, and we're heroes for hire. That's yeah. the whole point of it. So. Who's the who is the star? Yeah, we never got to who it was. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I guess I probably won't know. Game of Thrones star oh. Finn Jones. Finn Jones. A lot of people's going. I don't remember him. I Game don't. I don't watch Game of Thrones. So, well, uh, I'm gonna eventually break down and watch Game of Thrones, but I'm gonna wait till it's all done. That way, I won't be shocked by anybody who dies. I don't get attached to somebody and then get killed. Uh, oh yeah, so don't be watching Walking Dead. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch. I probably. I've, I've thought about starting at season one, and but I just never got. The problem with Walking Dead is I. You know, I can't watch, like, Archer because it's like, oh, you can't watch that when the kid's around. I was like, kid's already around. I mean, yeah. so how am I supposed to watch Walking Dead? You just wait till speaking of which, she's, like, 18. And oh, okay. Yeah, you know, speaking of which, you get to watch the Venture Brothers. I got. Four I years. did. I watched, yes. That's pretty great. The last last night's episode had some I missed it laugh because, out loud funny moments. I, I uh, yeah. So it's it's a good. Season I've got so it. Far. I've got it in a completely legal downloading site, but it hasn't got downloaded yet. <laughs> iTunes probably. Yeah, it. probably iTunes. That, let's say it was well, iTunes. Let's just say I'm sure you can get the new one the same way you got the first four. I don't. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, but it was really. <laughs> that's this is what makes me mad about Venture Brothers is they take so long to make these and I don't make very many, but their quality is. Oh, they yeah. have not lost a step. No, well that's why it takes so long to make them. Yeah, but no. oh, and it it's so funny, <laughs> and uh, Paul F. Tompkins was on there as the a Blue Morpho, yeah. who is the monarch's father oh, and yeah. actually was like a he's like a oh, Green yeah. Hornet ripoff where yeah. he was like a superhero posing as a bad guy. Blue Morpho is very popular butterfly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. And that was pretty great. The, yeah. I thought that that was my favorite part of the whole thing. Oh, it go it continues. So that he's the blue morpho, oh. blue morpho and Kano. <laughs> even though he's not, even though twenty one isn't even Asian. <laughs> oh no! And I love when they try on the costumes because like blue morpho was like so much more buff than Monarch is, and like Kano was this huge hulking Asian yeah. man, and twenty one's not that big, so they like <laughs> <laughs> using the skills he learned in home ec class. <laughs> And he had to fix the costumes. It's just, uh, it makes me so angry because I just would love it. Just 12 episodes ev- consistently every year from them would be just the greatest thing in the world. Uh-huh. But they just don't do that. They would. You're two apiece. I mean, I apart. know. Uh, Walking Dead last night. What'd you think? Two nights ago. Two, two nights uh, ago. Let me see here. I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, Jesus takes him to his camp. Oh, yeah. Who was the news. actor? Who was the head guy of that camp? I've seen him in something recently. Wait, Jesus showed up? In yeah. the exact same role. <laughs> his friends used to call him Jesus. Yeah. And I guess they still do. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I didn't recognize that actor. Um, oh, but he did a good job, I thought. Oh. They really got to the got to the point. I thought, I, I was thinking they were going to try to, they are going to, you know, try to extend it out like they were going to have to hang out for a while. Yeah. Like, it's following the comics pretty closely, as I recall. It's been a long time since I've read this this bit of the arc. Yeah. But, yeah, like the whole deal, you know, what happens to that guy and the dynamics that rise out of that. It seems like that did take a couple issues, and it seems like usually they'll try to pull a Yeah, they pull epi- the whole a couple season out of, out of the farm, issue. and yeah, yeah, they'll condense. Uh I mean, you know, of course, spoilers on this. 
my problem is, and I'm I'm sure it's going to come back and bite him in the ass or in the hand as it is, is Rick has now got to be the guy to go, yeah, we'll go kill him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that other group, yeah, we'll kill him. No problem. <laughs> right. It's like, wait, what? You're yeah. supposed to be the good guy here. You're supposed to be, yeah, we ne- never met him before. Don't know what their deal is, but yeah, we'll go kill him. No problem. Yeah. Well, they met some of the guys on the street, on the road, that they, they, they blew were up. going to kill him. <laughs> So uh, they really seem like they might be bastards. I don't yeah. know, but we'll find uh, out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like he said, I mean, that's what they have to trade. That's what a value, you know, they basically, yeah, they become mercenaries because that's, you know, yeah. that's the leverage they have is that these people are not fighters. They don't have the weapons or, you know, skill, ability. Or, and we got you know, Daryl. And apparently yeah, they exactly. have to. Uh, got they, a guy with a crossbow. The Walking Dead was forced to shoot two versions yeah. of the finale thanks to Negan's insistent profanity. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So, Which I think is kind of, it's a smart move. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do. You know, DVD or after midnight right. on, or after yeah. 9 p.m. uncensored. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're saying. Version. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because, yeah, well, like they said, I read the, actually read that article uh yeah the, the the flow of the words like he he actually he has like phrases that are like you know his catchphrases but it's all like <laughs> fuckity fuck fuck and uh <laughs> fuckity fuck fuck is the best catchphrase ever <laughs> i hate to say this but this was our society once again we brought i've brought this yeah. up before we can spend an hour hacking up dismembering Ripping apart. I don't see anything Man. wrong with but, what you're but, saying. But, but we can't say no. fuckity fuck. Whoa, fuck. <laughs> hey, language. What are you doing? Let's see. Let's. Uh, I think uh, the last, uh, the previous episode was the first episode we've had full back nudity. Yeah. You know, so you saw Rick and Michonne's ass. Right. You know. Thank you, so. Dennis Franz, for paving that way for all yeah. of us. So sweet, sweet Franz. <laughs> Franz ass. <laughs> Which then I think I saw again in uh, City of Angels or something. So, didn't really? Yeah, I think he stood up one time when he was in a bed and he was wearing a gown. You can it see it was probably in his contract after that. That was in by NYPD Blue, right? Yeah, the show where yeah, he, where he showed his ass. Push. Was that what that was? NYPD yeah. Blue or was yeah. it? <laughs> I don't know. Why I wanted to say Cop Rock. Cop Rock. Whoa! <laughs> but I do remember. At least I, Hill Street Blues would have been. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting you wrong era, but come on. <laughs> Um, I, w- when was that? Hill Street Blues was probably what late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. I didn't see it, but I do recall my mom going, "What the, <laughs> like what?" And I ran in there, and all you saw was this guy like running down a hallway or something, like getting yeah. his old butt. Oh well, that would it be in my PD Blue. That would yeah, been, that would have been the nineties. Oh wait, it wouldn't have been. Is that what you're saying? Well, like, this was something. NYPD else? Blue yeah, would was... have been Dennis Franz showing his ass. Hill right, Street yeah. they didn't show anybody's ass. Oh, I'd yeah. say Hill Street. I meant. But yeah, I remember they like marketed it right, like the whole week before or whatever. They're oh, like, yeah, oh, see Dennis Franz's ass. Yeah, yeah, pretty but much. I, First I, time on TV. But I think did they didn't say Dennis Franz's ass. They said they were going to show nudity or something. <laughs> like, so every hot chick on yeah. the show, you're like, yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah it's good yeah. to yeah. be. It's like, oh, what the fuck. And not even one of the good-looking guys with the tight asses. Nope. Yeah. Well, Hill Street Blues, I don't know if it's the first time on TV, but it was the first. NYPD Blue. You keep saying. No, no. no what are you talking about? This Actually, was uh, Hill Street Blues. Oh, okay. All right. There was, there was this guy, and he's the typical, I think he was the typical SWAT Mm-hmm. You know, all on the SWAT team. I barely remember Hill Street Blue. And uh, he hup. ends up falling in love with this woman, and she has to break it to him that she was once a man. He's oh, like, wait, wait, what? Whoa, what? 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 <laughs> Classic. But, but down there, and she goes, yeah, I've, I've had surgery. <laughs> He's like, whoa, whoa, what? But everything works, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Apparently so. They were, if I remember correctly, they were, you know, they, they were pretty far in the relationship. Well, mm. you don't wait that far in the relationship, let that drop. Yeah. That's well, kind of your. You would think this conversation would happen. All right, baby, here we go. And man, it's kind of scary down here. <laughs> oh, scary. <laughs> what? Uh, this doesn't look right. What is? I don't. Did you? Were you in an accident? Uh, did you? <laughs> really? Did you fall off your bike when you were a child and something hey. terrible happened? I, I mean, uh, uh, I can't. Um, I've never mm, seen a. No, I've never seen so, post op. So I don't know what it looks like. It might be. If I'm you're sure a post op, uh, show us your pictures. No, don't do that. No. No, no. Eh, go ahead. I'll no, make these right. guys look. No, I, you know what? I probably would. Um, no, and, and, you know, I, I, I was going to make the joke you can tell by taste, but. Ah! I, I don't even know what, whoa! You know? 
You know no. what? I bet there's a Japanese game show where that <laughs> they actually do that. They blindfold the guy. Is it a woman? Oh. Is it a man? Oh, 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 oh. This is man. <laughs> <clears throat> How do you know? That is ball sweat. <laughs> oh. Ball sweat. <laughs> yeah. I love how ball sweat just killed the Kill podcast the right there. Arr! Ball sweat was said on the air. So uh, there's a, apparently there's some kind of a I just uh, some yep. kind of Batman Superman promo game coming out. No, no what? Piqued my interest, but apparently it's only going to be coming out, only be available on the Amazon Echo. Oh, which is the uh, is the that that stupid the... thing that uh, Alec Baldwin and Jason Bateman yes. keep trying to oh, sell me. No, God. Jason Schwartzman. Oh, Shane Schwartzman. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I always get them it's mixed the, uh, up. Big Brother box in your living room, uh, listening to everything you say, waiting for you to say, "Amazon, send me some socks," as as in the uh, commercial. But uh, yeah, apparently, it's a uh, you talk to this box and it like walks you through. Uh, oh, you yeah. can uh, investigate the uh, the murder of Bruce Wayne's parents. That sounds so. Stupid. It's. I think it sounds awesome. I think it's it all stupid. vocal. It's like a radio show. Yeah, yeah it's like, but it's interactive. Uh, and speaking of, uh, 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 apparently in mm. Korea, there's a statue depicting of Jesus so jacked it looks like his last supper was pure protein. <laughs> I wanted to, this this photo. <laughs> My comment great. on this photo was, "Kram, Kram, why have you <laughs> forsaken me?" Right. Go look at this photo and it, uh, <laughs> cause it totally, he's like, it looks like he should have just been able to pull the nails down and go <laughs> kid, just killed all the Romans. Right. This is a sculpture made by somebody whose favorite character in the Bible was Samson. I was <laughs> like, you know so. what? Jesus needs to be more like Samson. What the? Throw him up on there. He was a carpenter, man. He'd be ripped. <laughs> what do you mean Conan wasn't in the Bible? <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty funny thing. It's my and comment I mean, he was no pain, super no gain, ripped. I it is not like oh no, Jesus worked out. Like sometimes you'll see in Catholic churches, like oh that's a really toned Jesus. <laughs> no, he <laughs> is like yeah. Lou Ferrigno, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> pumping iron, early nineteen eighties ripped. As as one right. commenter put it, and verily did Jesus lift every day, <laughs> and lo, he <laughs> skippeth not leg day, and there was much rejoicing and yelling of bro. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> Jesus and the Twelve Bros. <laughs> we've, been, we've been doing communion all wrong. You were supposed to be passing around the protein shake. <laughs> right, yeah, or keg standing like, <laughs> at, the, at the altar. You even protein, bro. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> he needed 12 apostles because he only wanted to have someone on hand to spot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blasphemy's fun. <laughs> Horribly wrong when Judas was <laughs> Judas was supposed to spot that day. <laughs> oh, he betrayed Jesus. Uh, uh, yeah. Deadpool made over six hundred million so wow. far. We're we're booking. I mean, yeah. it's broke enough records. Uh, the the cast went and saw it last Friday for a second time. If Deadpool oh, grosses more than the cast, this Wars. cast, yeah. Well, yeah, I was Star like, wait, Wars that cast? If it grosses no, no. more than Star Wars, it won't. But that would no, be awesome no. if it did. Yeah, we saw it again. It was awesome. The great yeah, thing about that is... it really is, held up. Yeah. The great thing is I was wondering, I was like, well, I still laugh. I laugh, not as hard. But now there's all other jokes that somehow I missed the first time around. Because <laughs> you're running to the bathroom all the time. I only went once Jeez. during a baby hand scene. <clears throat> Actually, I stopped and watched it from the entrance because I hadn't. That is one I'd missed because that's about the time I had to take a piss last time. Uh, yeah, that was so funny. Now you might want to get baby out of here. Hand. It's gonna feel huge in this hand. Uh, one of our biggest uh, shared, clicked on articles was the DC refuses cancer patient. Yep. Oh really? Oh yeah. We got huge amounts. Hate, of hate, 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 yeah, hate, 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 hate. Just people sharing it and clicking it. Oh, yeah. It. What do you guys think about the new fancy Facebook multiple emotion buttons? Eh, I don't like uh, it. I no. wouldn't use them. I don't. I still just hit like. Uh, well, it's the same thing as they say, hey, the only you know, thing that's why don't useful. they make a dislike button? Everyone's going to say, hey, why don't they put this emoji or that? Where is there a shit emoji? Yeah, the only time yeah. I'm going to use that is when it's like, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of hard when it's like, my grandfather just died. Like. 
You know, you can't right. do that. So this is like, oh, sad face. That's the only time this is going to come in useful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, or, you know, I think because it's like like, love, sad. Yeah. I don't know. There's like two more options. But, poo? you know, like is like is basically just acknowledging like, mm-hmm. oh, that's an interesting thing that you posted. Yeah. Then I think love is like, oh, I really like that thing. You're actually like you know, attributing a value to it, Uber, not right. just like recognizing it. And then hate is attributing the other value. Yeah. Or, and then I guess sad is another, or, or I, I don't know, remember. whatever, but I don't know. I There's think it's an couple. interesting I idea. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't like interesting, it. Interesting, <clears throat> but uh, and they thing keep that changing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, things that would all like, uh, the Spaceball teaser poster has been showing Sp- up. And it in, literally right. says Spaceball's the teaser poster, poster which yes. is brilliant. The Swartch Awakens with even greater helmet. Uh, I read that that was a, like a hoax or something. It That's was? not actually related oh. to the oh. well, Someone put a, a bunch of them up, I guess. Right. So Spaceball's a search for more money. The yeah, that was poster. what they always said. The and it's, a, it's, oh. right, and it's right. a, a burnt up uh, dark helmet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Right. It's a night, yeah. It's a cool, yeah thing, but maybe, yeah, maybe that'll be the spark that. Uh, well, I guess they're already talking about making. No, it, No, they right? were talking about making it oh, already. Yeah, been, but yeah. you know, maybe I thought it was a little early for a teaser trailer since they hadn't even started shooting yet. Yeah, or a teaser poster. Maybe that would be the. Uh, that's like the Deadpool trailer that that gets the fans excited yeah, and to know, push for actually making the movie. Uh, reported Netflix's Fuller House is like a porn parody without <laughs> the porn. I have not seen this, yeah. so I read I, that. I guess they. Shot it to the Olsen twins. Did you hear about that? It's like, mm-hmm. hey, where's she at? Oh, apparently she's in New York during her big uh, like clothing line and just couldn't happen to make it home. And they all stop and look at the camera. <laughs> you know, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Disapprovingly. Fuck like you, Olsen. Like, Pretty much. <laughs> I think the Olsons are probably saying the same thing. Well, uh, hell, the thing is, they probably barely even remember being right. on this show. Because they were, what, four or five when it probably went off the air? Because they weren't even teenagers by the time it went off the air. See, I yeah. would just, what I want is for them to just have every episode, there's a cameo from one, Mary Kate or Ashley Olsen. So, like, like you just hear music and they walk in. And it's like, I'm trying to get this baby to sleep. Will you turn that music <laughs> off? And then you just hear from upstairs, you got it, dude. And that's it. <laughs> right. Well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I t- we talked last week about Chris, you know, being a Full House fan, mm-hmm. like yeah. an authentic, like old Does school he, Full did House he, fan. Has he watched this? And he's watched. He, uh, we had a meeting last night, and he said he hasn't gotten through the whole show, but he <laughs> he is a little bit disappointed. With oh, it. He said the first is, episode was kind of fun because wait, it, wait. it, like, wrapped up some loose ends that were— So, but, uh, if he could go back— and wipe Full House out of his brain and watch this anew, would he still feel the same way? I don't know what it's like to have love something, and then you go in and it doesn't live up to your expectations. We I had mean, this it's... conversation last night, actually. <laughs> yeah, we, we talked just, about just it. I'm just curious how this is yeah. different. <laughs> well, he, uh, like, well, I think he had a pretty good... Um, mm-hmm. uh, he mm-hmm. was saying that they were using a lot of gimmicks. It's basically, uh, well, and I pointed out, his kind of what he's saying, and he, I think he said he'd watch the first six episodes or so. And, uh, and yeah, they kind of. I'm going to go watch this and talk about how much I love it on this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, yeah you, uh, we'll, we'll take your word but, for it. So, like, the argument that, um, well, like, like what we were saying is, you know, the, the, the new star, okay, Matt is, is, uh, is uh, tactfully uh, referring to the most recent Star Wars tactfully? movie. Tactfully? I don't He's, think uh, that's what I was doing. Cleverly. Um, <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, like, so the argument, I think, it comes down to, like, we, we don't know what the end result's going to be. Then if the next move, you know, the concern, I guess, seems to be, like, this movie was too much like, it, it had too many, like, similarities to the other movies. It didn't, like, break out, you know. Um, which I feel like was I feel was intentional because they also mixed in some like new and I'm stuff saying they shouldn't have done they that they didn't want to, uh, you know they, I felt I feel like they were creating a launch pad for the the new series yeah. by saying well here's the old stuff that you remember to keep you know so that's kind of comfortable and familiar but here's all this other new stuff because this is the direction we're going mm. so so in the next movie when they're like there's you know they're off in a whole new direction basically it's not as jarring because it's like okay well. You know, we already saw that we were going this way, so 
I guess goodbye Tatooine and and uh, you no, know, no, no, Jakku. 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 Yeah, Jakku. yeah, yeah. What? Right. Even though that was basically Tatooine. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, so, okay, so that's what. Uh, so we don't know what they're going to do with the next movie. If the next movie is just a rip off of, uh, you know, Empire Strikes Back, then we're going to be like, oh, OK, well, too bad. I guess this sucks. Yeah. But uh, or maybe, you know, it's still going to be fun. I'm still going to enjoy it because I'm not like a big Star Wars nerd. <laughs> but uh, hey. but, uh, but Full House, apparently, or at least the Fuller House, I mean, um, <laughs> They just are uh, nonstop, just like referring back to other thi- to old stuff, and like and repeating well, like that whole like breaking the fourth wall to refer to Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen not being they're there. They're laying the groundwork, <laughs> yeah, showing you familiar stuff so you're comfortable, <clears throat> but pushing forward with the new. <laughs> no, they're not pushing forward. That's what they're not doing. Apparently, I haven't watched uh, yeah, any uh, of no, them. Wait, See, pushing forward without the Olsen twins. Uh, yeah. See, I didn't even know that there was dangling plot threads from Fallout. Yeah, me either. I didn't, I didn't know there was plots to Fallout. Right. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, but apparently they didn't expect to get canceled. Uh, like, it just, the season oh. ended and they well, d- hadn't wrapped everything did, up. Did Danny Tanner, in fact, cut it out when Uncle Joey told him to? No. We don't know. I don't think he ever did. No. You know? did, did anybody actually have mercy on on uh, John Stamos? I, I don't know. I, we need to know these sort of things. Did anyone really get it, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I always wanted to think that, uh, uh, what was the the neighbor girl's name? Kimmy. Oh, God. Kimmy Gibbler. Yeah. How I wanted did she to think have... that she turned out to be the biggest whore in the world. I just I wanted that to be so like. <laughs> Apparently, she's the best part of the new Fuller oh, House. Really? I read like three reviews because I was kind of fascinated uh, All I with remember this. of her was she was like the, the jokey sidekick, like the really bad Well, they always girl. have one. Like, remember, uh, not well, Yeah, the neighbor, pain, but. Blossom. Um, the one with Kirk Cameron in it. Uh, uh, oh, God. Pains. So that's his birthday. That was not Kirk pains, Cameron. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was Growing Pains. That was Growing Pains. Yeah, with Kirk yeah. Cameron. The one I'm thinking of. Boner, yeah, Boner. Yeah. Boner but was next. Well, door, which is the one? Yeah. Michael J. Fox. That was Family Ties. Family, Family Ties. Ties. Okay, okay. So it was Growing Pains. You know, he had like Boner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ben had his best friend's name was Stinky. Yeah. yeah see, Stinky. there's always that character. So. And they always live next door, and they're always annoying as fuck. <laughs> and and then sometimes you're annoying as fuck. Uh, comedic sidekick takes next over door takes show. over your whole show like what happened in uh, what was the name of that show oh god uh, the Urkel show yeah the Urkel. Oh, Family Matters Family, Family Matters, matters. <clears throat> yes yeah I never can liked. I do that you know one of my favorite lines from Growing Pains is uh, one episode they got they all got like an inheritance I guess like a grandparent oh. died or something you know and they're all like blowing it on stuff all their friends are you know coming over or people are like showing up you know to kind of to mooch off of them and stuff, and uh, somehow it comes out that Ben, you know, like had bought underwear for his friend Stinky, and his mom's like, "You bought Stinky underwear?" <laughs> and he said, "No, they were new." No, uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you know, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I would if somebody told me that you're gonna punch him straight in the face. <laughs> That was wah, cool. Wah, wah. Do you guys remember the time when Ben got glued to the coffee table when the parents were out at something no. and they were supposed to be watching him? What was it with the '80s and the parents having their office in the house? I don't know. Huxtable, yeah, the Cosby growing Show, pains, that Growing Pains. Because you know when you're when you're a psychiatrist and you have un, you know mentally unstable people, that's where you <laughs> want them is in your house. Yeah. All I want to do is kill and burn, doc. Kill and burn. <laughs> oh, that's great. Have you no. met my wife and children? Yeah, just, when you leave, just go <laughs> through the break. kitchen. You know, mm. out the back door. Uh, George Kennedy died. Oh. I don't think George has done much in the recent. You know years, what I remember him from? What's that? Naked Gun. Yes, that was my first thought. When the, I saw his w- picture. W- what would you say? Probably the late sixties through the early eighties. He, he was in a, a lot character. of stuff. He was on so much stuff. Yeah. He was in Police Squad too. Right? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I always remember when he's cool like hand <laughs> when Leslie Nielsen. He's like he's like hold him, and he holds the guy, and he's frisking the dude, and he reaches through and grabs uh, George Kennedy, gets in his pocket, and pulls out, and he pulls out his wallet, and he's like. He's got a picture of your wife. And he turns around and he's like, you <laughs> son of a bitch. And punches him. Right. God. All I can remember from those movies is where they're in the sex shop and he's talking to somebody and he hears, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a leaf floor yeah, with a dildo on it. Yeah. <laughs> is this some kind of bust? <laughs> well, yes, it's very impressive. <laughs> 
It was, oh, yeah. Some of, some of OJ's finer work. Yeah. Was he in the movies? Yes. Oh, so yeah. That was a uh, naked movie. gun. He was in all three of them, I yeah, believe. Nordberg. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember in that first one, he kept getting re injured. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, he had, like, Got injured at the docks during a drug bust, and then, like, Leslie Nielsen kept coming in and, like, doing stuff to him. <laughs> right. And, and that's, the, like, the last scene is him, like, they're at the Met Stadium, and he goes down, he knocks him in the wheelchair down the oh, stairs, stairs. And, he goes, ah! and he goes flying off. Oh, of course, he hits the bomb flips. Yeah. Those are I, love, I want to go watch those movies now. Those are great movies. Have to go back. So. So now, oh, they're just waiting on OJ to finish that trifecta of naked gun people <laughs> i remember they always had the guy that was really tall that worked at the the police station oh he's right like, he's like you got something on the side of your face <laughs> you know like, like a ham like, sandwich no, would fall like, out no the other side and then like half a banana falls right. out yeah he's like yeah you got it <laughs> yeah well, i don't remember his name i don't remember his name either but i oh mm. it was oh, just, it was the, uh, those oh those were such good movies why yeah. are spoof movies suck now? I guess they used up all the good jokes yeah. back in the 70s. I think the last 90s. really good spoof movie I saw was Robin Hood Men in Tights. I didn't like it. You didn't like Robin Hood Men in no. Tights? Yeah, I thought it was cor- too too corny. I, that's yeah. the last one I really enjoyed. Pretty much every spoof movie after that, I hated. Yeah, they yeah. really... Was it... Uh, oh, what's the ones that come out? Like the something... The disaster movie? Yeah, or something epic like movie. Yeah, epic movie. Right, and the... Uh, horror or what is it it's not scary, scary movie. movie yeah scary movie yeah like that whole series and yeah just all those all of that ilk and wasn't that like not another teen movie not another teen not another teen whatever. movie wasn't that bad yeah it was probably the best of the worst you know what i mean <laughs> like you know like all limp biscuit songs suck but you know nookie's not that bad <laughs> you know it's kind of like that yeah, it's, I, like I, that stuff. I mean yeah it's you know like, you know, do you have to listen to all the spin doctors? No, but if you get pocket full of kryptonite, it's not the worst thing. <laughs> no. Um, no, I just saw some. I skipped by it. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, what's what's replacing a lot of the, the bad jokes these days is the uh, uh, Carl Grimes jokes. Have you seen a lot of those on? Oh, Carl yeah. Carl Grimes? Yeah, from, from, like, from Walking Dead. Oh, Carl. okay. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, there, yeah. there's a scene. So to fill Matt in, there's he a scene. An eye. I know. Where, where, okay. Well, the thing is, there's a scene where Carl had to shoot his own mother. His mother died in childbirth, giving birth. Is this to, when they cut the baby out and then yes. he had to kill her because she turned into a zombie? zombie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually. This, oddly enough, one scene I've seen. From okay, Walking so Dead is this. So scene. you've seen it where where Rick's like, oh, no, no, and mm-hmm. Carl's just. Well, they do a joke where, like, he's the, the dad's telling a really bad joke. Yeah. And he gets up in his face with the punchline. He goes, what's the difference between Rick Grimes and Carl Grimes? Rick Grimes has two eyes. Two eyes, Carl. One in Rick yeah. and one in Grimes. <laughs> it's all one-eye jokes. Right, yes. <laughs> that, uh, well, yeah, the week after that episode, That's, uh, I remember there was a... Uh, yes. There was a picture. There was one, yeah, one that was a picture of Carl, and he said, uh, "Hey, could you tell me what happened in The Walking Dead last night? I only saw half of it." <laughs> oh, so I thought bad. that was a good one. So oh, it is. Bad. It's just bad jokes. I mean, it's uh, poor kid. See, we went from one bad jokes like why do spoof movies suck, suck. to this, and it's no. just well, they just went airplane was it. good. Top Secret. You guys ever seen Top Secret? Yeah. yeah, Top Secret is fucking Hulk awesome. Balls. Al Kim or so it was your Fleming Hulk Balls. <laughs> <laughs> was there a musical number in that? No, there's a ton, a ton of musical of numbers in that. I've got to rewatch it because I love that movie, and I don't. Other than the Flaming Hog Balls, I don't. Remember Latrine. Much. I remember that. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, actually, I haven't seen it. It's been maybe 20 years yeah. since I've seen uh, it. It's been this. Is that the one where the ballerina is like dancing on the guy's the, the, giant? The guy's dance, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was so funny. The cows in galoshes or a wa- uh, rain right. suit. Yeah. Well, yeah that's what's, like on the cover of the box, what's I remember. The hurry? <laughs> the, back when we had video um, stores. I would yeah. See that one. Uh, it, that's such a good movie. It, that's the first time I heard somebody go, he, he's telling like Val Kilmer his sad, sad story, and he goes, that sucks. <laughs> and that's the first time I heard anybody ever say that. 
Oh yeah, there's some is in uh top secret. That's my recommendation. Go watch Top Secret and Naked Gun and Airplane. Don't watch scary movie. It's terrible. <laughs> Not another teen movie. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. I love the concussion countdown in that movie. <laughs> oh, I don't Yeah, yeah. because it's the big uh, fat guy. They got a concussion count on the scoreboard during the football game. <laughs> So he, like, runs into somebody, he's like, ding, and turns over. As they're playing up, like, Friday Night Lights or something like yeah. that. Or Varsity Blues. Varsity yeah, Blues was, was that movie. That big movie. Yeah. Turn oh, well, movie. and I guess I was going to say, going way way back, I don't know, what, 15 minutes we've yeah. been on this track here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like I think, to me, the, I think the last good... Uh, Slapstick spoof movie thing was uh, probably Hot Shots. Uh, maybe, Hot Shots is maybe good. Hot Shots part do, but it definitely wasn't as good as the first. No, it wasn't as good as the first one. But that was Hot Shots is pretty funny. Uh, was it Hot Shots or Hot Shots part do that it it had really cool scenes in the trailer that never made it to the movie. Oh, there yeah. was something like, oh, "Where's that scene?" I've been laughing my ass off for months about that scene in the trailer. I don't know. It's Major leagues that the... way, <clears throat> because there's yeah. a whole line. One of the best lines in the whole movie never made it into the movie. And <laughs> it, what it is is he throws a pitch. Charlie Sheen's character throws a pitch, and the guy hits it, knocks it out of the park. And he's like, "In a lot of parks, that wouldn't even have been out." He's like, "Name one." Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> one of the best jokes in the whole wah, wah. movie, and it was uh, they cut it, and it was in the trailer. Mm. I don't know if I agree. No, no. Well, ah, what? That's a <laughs> no. funny joke. Major League's a great flick. You like baseball. That's well, a... No. <laughs> I don't like baseball. Oh, you suck. Yeah, but uh, Hot Shots... Um, now, okay, let, let's a, go. A Top Gun ripoff like 10 years after Top Gun came out, wasn't it? Then back like ninety six, ninety four. Oh, and it was yeah. 10 years. That was a I, few years. I think Top Actually, Gun came out in 86. What? Oh really? Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I guess maybe so. I I would I'd say more like eighty seven, eighty eight. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's right right in there. Yeah. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah. <laughs> that's, but, that's, and Hot Shots, I was think I would think it was like ninety one is my guess on that. I always got one of my yeah, other close. my other favorite lines is he's uh he's going uh uh he's like he's like huh? family and he's like no just need my bike the open road wind through my hair he's like ah oh, loner no I own it yeah <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Hot Shots was ninety one. Top Gun was was eighty six. Eighty six. So I was wrong on top or Hot Shots, but I was right on Top Gun. Now to <clears throat> hurt hurt kids' feelings. You know, I love doing that. Had to go. I like uh, doing it. It's fun. Wait, wait till um, your daughter is only in third grade, second grade, second grade. I had to think about. You it. You haven't got to do scooter soccer yet. Not yet. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like, playing why scooter won't soccer. They lose? Why won't like they I almost, lose? I'm lucky. I have all ten of my fingers playing scooter soccer. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I well, didn't get to play it. My, I think I went. I watched my sister play it when she played it, but I didn't come to Camdenton until I was already oh, in middle school. And Camdenton so is yeah. known and, uh, for scooter soccer. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, we didn't have it back in. Uh, I play scooter street. soccer now. If well, I last night was died. banned. So you had to sit through seven. My boy's in eighth grade. So it was what did he do wrong? Yeah, exactly. It was seventh grade. Then they had the jazz band some. Then they had Ooh. eighth grade. Yeah. Now here's my question. Now I'm I'm not a musical, you know, a huge music fan, but when someone yeah, you does, said you like Lip Biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> when someone does a uh, saxophone solo or a solo of any type, let's say I don't support saxophone playing. Should it not? fit with the music that's playing the drum solos never do <laughs> it well i don't know kind of the point of a solo is to play to like kind of break out and do well, something but and a then stylized kind of fall back something in. but what was going it was i mean i'm just using this as an example it was almost like going okay you know we're playing the national anthem okay Susie, solo and she breaks into happy birthday you're oh. like, wait, what? <laughs> it just took it. This seat. is only acceptable if she breaks into the saxophone from the oh. heat is on. I I wanted to hear oh, the uh, oh, I wanted oh, to hear the I the saxophone solo it. from uh, Lost Boys. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Yeah, Dancing. in the middle of like eighth grade band, that guy shirtless oil up guy comes out just. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be like, this is totally worth it. Flame. My life has meaning. <laughs> That would 
be the greatest thing. And nobody would get, like there'd be like four people in that audience that would get that joke. But it's one of those that you know you don't you don't try to be mean, but you can't help but your face like scrunch like what 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 <laughs> it's what. I've never played that instrument before in my life. I think I could. Do so you're like sitting there going, and the home of the happy birthday to you. What? What? But no, yeah, I don't know what song of, they were I don't playing. Know that that that's, was, uh, well, I wonder if it was like, you know, a tribute to that person's like I, family it, member. It or sounds something. like they said, okay, listen, you know, Johnny, Susie, whoever, we want each of you to do a saxophone solo. Just make up your own shit, and we'll just stick them in whatever song we decide to play. <laughs> Not even tell them what kind of song they're playing. But she what played "Happy playing. Birthday." Well, uh, right. That was just. I was gonna uh, say. I was like, that's like in the middle of the song. They're like piano solo, and the guy starts playing chopsticks. Yeah, <laughs> ding, ding, you know, ding, ding, it's ding, like ding, totally ding, out of place. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, maybe she. You said it was a girl. Or. They had a trumpet solo. In one song, they had a trumpet solo, a trombone solo, two saxophones. It was almost oh. like they didn't want anyone to feel bad for not getting a solo, so well, everybody yeah. got a solo. I, I don't think I've ever heard a trombone solo before. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I have, but I, it doesn't sound very good. It sounds like... But, uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe that whoever the saxophonist was choked and just fell back on that because they couldn't. Well, it, I just to, use like, that as an example. She didn't oh. play Happy Birthday. Oh, okay. It was just a song. And she you're played going, Mary, Mary, Mary You're, you're going along lamb. with the melody, and then the solo guy person kicks in, and it not the same style, not the same tone, not the same. Yeah. Totally out of place. Hmm. But that's just me, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's the stuff you have to sit through as a parent yeah good luck yeah wait till whatever you do yes please make sure your child does not want to do that. <laughs> you banned. my kid don't want to do shit so mine doesn't either none of them do mm -hmm. well they're not old enough yet you know your kid's gonna be a no my kid knows what she know. wants to do she wants to play video games on her phone and eat doritos yep no oh. so she's already like she's 15 and she's only eight <laughs> yeah because guess what I wanted to do when I was 15? I want to play video games and eat Doritos. Yep. But fuck, I want to do that now. Yeah. See, the writer of I Idiocracy like has decided <laughs> that uh, his satire has come true. Which yeah. Almost. I, I watched some it's of that. Pretty close. It, yeah, it's getting there. It's. Uh, we watched it. We, uh, they showed a clip of uh, President uh, Camacho. Yeah. <laughs> where it comes out. Camacho. That's so funny. <laughs> And the, so, so, of course, we had to watch clips, you know. And it's like, you know, why waiting to get in line? Or why in line to go into prison? He come up with an, you know, an, 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 an ingenious plan to get out. He goes in and goes, hey, yeah, I'm in the, uh, I think I'm in the wrong line. I'm supposed to be getting out of prison. Well, dumbass, you're in the wrong line. Get over here. <laughs> I love that, like, they're watering their crops with, like, Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's like the central... It makes everything Yeah, that's grow. what makes the other guy smart, because he's like, try water. <laughs> yeah, be lucky in a <clears throat> toilet? <laughs> yeah, I've never, I haven't ever seen the whole movie. Really? I've seen oh, like the beginning and I've seen the end. Oh, but... it is. It's just one stupid, they're just, yeah. yeah. What, what, what are they? You what are they trying to decide with the monster trucks? I forgot. Oh, there was I a thing with the monster trucks. It might have been who Wasn't was going to be debate? president. I yeah, it was, it was a debate. debate. <laughs> it was like who's going to be president of the United States or something. And it's just, and it just makes it worse when it's an election year. Man. <laughs> and you're saying, yeah, we're men on the street. What do you think of so and so? Uh, oh God, you're voting, aren't you? Mm. What happened to the good old days when only when only landowners could vote? That Sorry, has to, <laughs> I mean. that has to be um, how Trump is winning. He's like, I saw The Apprentice. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, basically. Uh, well, I don't know. There's a whole 
Yeah, well, I mean, how you know we get on? Let's this, let's right? ask yeah, California not, how every, well it turned out when they voted for somebody they saw in the picture shows. To, to you mean like Reagan? No, I mean like Schwarzenegger. Today's turn that around on me. Was today like primary? It's super Tuesday. Tuesday. Did you it's just more. Vote? No, no, uh, primary? Missouri primary is oh, okay. next Tuesday. I was wondering why, like, I didn't hear anything about it in Missouri, but I've been seeing it online it's just, all it's day. It's just the most states do okay. it today than any other. And okay, so yeah. if you didn't vote, you're probably like most half America that didn't yeah. go out and vote in a primary. Right. I so. don't know if uh, I can't. I'm pretty sure the last time I voted in a primary, um, I did not vote. For one of the major parties, yeah. So they give I you like a blank thing. They're like, okay, then here, don't uh, don't vote for anything. No. Yeah, and that's what I don't like about primary. Don't you have to like almost straight ticket vote? Yeah, primary? basically. It's yeah, it's like you're either that or that, and, uh, it doesn't, and if you're well, not one of those, then you don't get a choice. You don't get to. Yeah, like, it's whatever you're registered as. A, you know, I guess you could be an independent. I refuse to be labeled as such. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I don't know, you know. Not much happened this week. Uh, no, there's not a lot. Um, I had a lot of stuff happen. Well, what happened? Then talk well, about it. I guess we can talk, about, talk about Well, I guess I we did, can talk um, about uh, Oh, go ahead. I, I was rehearsing for this play that I'm going to be in. No. In oh. And? and? Getting it down. Are you good? I um I don't like I don't know I mean I I think I'm I'm getting the lines I know my stuff I f- I'm feeling pretty good about it. This is like in Ghostbusters when someone asks you if you're good in the play you <laughs> say <laughs> yes. <laughs> well I can't see myself performing. It doesn't I don't matter know. even if you're lying. I you feel can pretty suck good ass. about Just it. Lie. Confidence. I'm the greatest thing that ever happened to that play. <laughs> Also, I'm as also, good at acting as I am in bed, and I'm amazing in bed. bed. That's the kind of shit you need to be saying. I actually get into bed in this in this play. On stage? With, with a, a woman. Are you going to bang on stage? No. Oh. You don't do a topless scene? Uh, I, well, no. Not on stage. But oh. I, I will. I do have a quick quick change. I'll have to pull my shirt off. <gasps> it'll, be, oh. it'll be off, be off stage. No bare ass scene? You're not going to well, Dennis Ron this? Actually, I'm wearing these, like... Pajama bottoms uh, that keep falling down. So, <laughs> so it might, here. yeah. You want to see Will's uh, bare ass? <laughs> Full frontal <laughs> nudity. I, I'll be wearing underwear. Sorry, oh, no. well, well, that's no fun. Um, yeah, and also the Lake Connecticut script's coming along. We're going to do Sweet. a reading on Friday. <gasps> maybe even oh. start recording next week. <gasps> nope. Probably not. <laughs> oh. Well, okay. no, actually, maybe. <gasps> no. Since we went on the road trip and talked about some of the stuff, I forgot uh, the Flash. Yay! Which kind of blew Matt's theory out of the water. I maintain that it did not. I maintain uh, that I was exactly right. Okay, you know what? I can Have go you seen with it? The, he hasn't seen it. The I new can Flash. see the confusion. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I can get the. Well, maybe he was moving so fast. You know, we've seen guys in one. You know, one guy in two places at once in this show. Yeah, but he's not only moving so fast that he's carrying himself. Into a room. I'm saying it might be a future version. The I, problem I think is there's they, too many Jay Garrick. I think they. Sense. I think a producer well, let it slip that it was Zooliman from Earth One. Yeah, well, that's so, the easiest solution. Like yeah. we, that's the only other that's Jay Garrick that we've still seen. Jay Garrick, I win. No, it's not. It's it's, I win. I win. No, because it's Zooliman. No, because you guys, you were saying it was his name is Zooliman. It was his dad. I was way closer. Well, I was because it just looked like it. <laughs> no, it. it I, I win. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow was on. I haven't watched an episode for a couple weeks. Okay, not not bad, but here, the, the most heartless bastards in this show. Yeah. Did you watch it, Matt? I think so, but what okay. are you not referring to? Now, we're going to assume that each episode takes place in one or two days. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, it's been... Oh, yeah. Maybe, I know what you're talking about. Maybe two weeks since Hawkman died. Yeah. And they're already hitting on Hot Girl. <laughs> Wait, who is? Uh, the Two kid, guys, uh, Jackson and uh, yeah. Ray Palmer. Yeah. It's Which trying, one's Jackson? Uh, the, the other side of Firestorm, Dr. Stein. Yeah, not the Jackson. old man. Oh, okay. The kid. Okay. Huh. They're already yeah, the trying to hit on her. all the time. Because like, he's the young hell? and full of angst. Well, but she never really got into Hawkman until the very end. You know, she was still like, I don't know. I, I want to live my life. I don't is know the wound. Reality? I don't know if I can do this, Ray. The wound is so fresh. He died like four hours ago. <laughs> yeah, really, Ray, you dick. 
Yeah, but I'm fucking horny. I've been on this ship for two weeks and ain't got no boom dang. I keep trying, and Captain Cole keeps cock blocking me. <laughs> they, uh, you know, he should he he should put a little something special in that suit that takes care of his his uh, you know, his needs. Uh, oh, and apparently, uh, I didn't get to I get watch what it last you mean. Night. Water bottle. But apparently the Flash and Supergirl shared an Easter egg. Do you remember? Like a chocolate one? No. Mm, Cadbury? <laughs> That's a Cadbury egg. Ooh, I love Cadbury eggs. Remember when the Flash was going through the, the, the portal to Earth 2 and he yeah. saw the... Okay, they saw a Legion flight ring. Okay. This week in Supergirl, she goes to the Fortress of Solitude and there's the same scene with the Legion flight, flight ring. Huh. So, like Legion of Superheroes? Yeah. Huh. So Superman hmm. was in the Legion. Oh, he yeah. was Superboy. Oh, that's so, right. So he has a ring. Did he time travel for that? He would have to if he was in the I know, Legion that's what of I'm Superheroes. Saying. So he's been to the future, then come back to the past? Mm -hmm. That's stupid. <laughs> well, as a boy, you know, he'd come back. Oh, okay. And, well, he's a boy. That's fine then. Never yeah, mind. he was a kid. So they just kept dropping him off and picking him up and... He'd have adventures, and then the crisis screwed all that up. So I love that he like, like. So he's just in the middle, like sitting around watching, like you hey, know, the Waltons, the and then all of a sudden, bam, bam, bam. Hey, hey, Superman, so we got you. Got to come back with us. Back where? Back to the, the future. future. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I like it. Yeah, you know, it was the it was the Silver Age of comics. It was more like, hey, it's Saturday. I'm bored. I think I'll go to the future. Hang out there Shit, for a little while. Rage sounds great. I wish I could do that. Now, the cool thing is they actually, uh, a few years ago, they did have a Legion of Superheroes show. And they, they got Clark before he was Superboy and mm -hmm. brought him to the future. And here's like the, the one that... I'm trying to remember this show. It wasn't bad. It yeah, was for remember. two, two when episodes. Was it? it was a cartoon. I don't oh, remember okay. this one. But he ends up going to the Superman Museum. And finding he gets beat to death <laughs> at some point in time in his life. It's like, that's good to that's know. That's a way to go out. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, yeah speaking of animated things. Um, what you got? The Vixen. Uh, yeah, Vixen was on Arrow. Arrow. And I forgot about that, that they yeah. did that thing last year. Last it was like a Vixen webisodes, yeah. Crossover I didn't video. see this, but all the, the previews that came across like, I'm a sassy black woman and I am here to kick some ass. That's how and it came you, across. You know what they did? They had to throw out, how do you know her? Well, uh, Flash and I had some, you know, some very animated adventures with her. Oh, <laughs> yes, he actually said, "Yeah, we had animated, animated yeah. adventures." Yes. Yeah. So what, like three I, ways? She was, I really liked her. Out, yeah. I liked that character. I wish that she was playing Hawk Girl or Iris yeah. or, I yeah, there. Well, I like Iris, but I'm okay yeah. with her taking over Hawk. No, girl, see, right? they had to change the character some. In the comics, she's a supermodel slash adventurer. Uh, and this, she's a fashion designer slash. Because it'd be sexist, uh, even though she's still hot as. F yeah, she'll, she's still hot. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, uh, I, I didn't know that. So. You didn't know that she was hot. No, I didn't know that she was a fashion designer. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, yeah. all I, or I did know that. Well, she made from, so she mentioned me. it. I didn't know yeah. she was. A Am I wrong? Comics, she doesn't talk like that through the whole way because that's how it sounded in the previews. No, no. Because yeah. it's she like well. something about. She like, was from Detroit, though. I know. You know, one thing they did not catch on. In uh, Legends of Tomorrow, you watched it where they I went did. to the future. So you she probably would kick your You ass didn't get to watch. Okay. They go to 2046, mm -hmm. and they're like, the, the whole city's just burning, and it's in ruins and whatnot. This, this shadowy figure, you know, shows up, and, uh, you know, it looks like the Green Arrow. And the first thing Lance says is, Ollie? Oh, yeah, don't give that away. I mean, And yeah. she's like, someone's like, I don't think that was Oliver. She goes, that was not Oliver Queen. Like, Captain Gold and then they go, Oliver Queen's the Green Arrow. Yeah. Did they do that? or No, they, yeah. but she said it out loud, so it's he not they, like... they, Captain Gold and Heat Wave didn't seem to like, who the fuck is Green Arrow? It's the way it was. It was like, I don't even know who this is. Yeah, I don't know. Who's Oliver Queen? The guy's running for mayor in your city. Yeah, you know? I hate it. Yeah, we were talking about that last, or maybe that was on the road trip. I don't remember. But, you know, like in the Batman game I'm playing, like constantly people are calling him Bruce. 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> out <know>. loud. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and he's, yeah, and like Alfred and is popping up on a little video, like You know they do that to him all the time he's just as Batman, but whenever he's like walking around as Bruce Wayne down the street, it's like, Batman, come in, Batman. <laughs> it's 
Somebody's watch is going off. I don't know what that is. Batman. It's like, Bruce, your your watch is going off, and it's a big bat symbol <laughs> flashing on your watch. I'm a oh. fan. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, Affleck. Uh, yeah, I loved him ever well, since. Well, it's like uh, in Batman Phantoms. Returns. Like, he had those huge spotlights at Wayne Manor right outside the house that oh, yeah. would turn to the house and shoot a bat signal into <clears throat> the house. On the wall, yeah. Now, let's just say the groundskeeper's just sitting there, you know, trimming the hedges, and he looks up, and he's like, Oh shit! He's got a dinner a, date. He's, he's got, got a bat signal. signal. What the fuck? Somebody over. Why does this guy have a giant bat what signal? The, what the hell? Well, wait a minute. Batman has lots of expensive. <laughs> to, this guy has access to Wayne Enterprise. But. And my the check he gives me says I'm not Batman. <laughs> right here in the memo, I'm signed Bruce Wayne. I'm not Batman. Remember? Right there, it says it. <clears throat> it might be Batman. <laughs> and that's why I hate it, and I don't want to get into the whole what's better, Marvel or DC. Marvel. Spider-Man is completely covered. Mm -hmm. He's in a city of millions, mm -hmm. and he's not using any hot... Well, okay, I won't say as of late. No, well, let's not talk but, about that. <laughs> but he doesn't use anything high-tech. It's like with Batman. It's like, okay, he's got a plane, uh, a boat, a submarine, a car... Where does he get all the money for that? Oh, wait. Could he be hey, a you rich know what's guy? Even, is, is Peter Parker is not a guy that like you would see like at charity events on television. Yeah. He's a photographer. That's all he does. The worst mistake Peter Parker makes is taking pictures exclusively of Spider-Man. <laughs> if he took used his spider powers to take pictures of other stuff, which then he yeah. has done later which on. I'm sure he does. Like he became a paparazzi. Uh, paparaz paparazzi. Paparazzo, maybe. Yeah, paparazzo. Yeah, and... and um, yeah. And later on, he was kind of scummy when he did that. But, yeah. I mean, it was a good use of That's his spider Parker, powers man. to pay the bills without taking pictures Scumbag. of Spider-Man. It was because uh, he could get in the places nobody else could get into and get those pictures nobody else could get because he's Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, they said that's actually how he started. Um, uh, I think it's Chapter 1. He got pictures of other superheroes. Oh, I'm sure. And he yeah. didn't never take pictures of Spider-Man until the Daily Bugle offered a big reward for pictures of Spider-Man. Oh, man. And that's the only time he started doing it. Well. <clears throat> and then people who, like, if you are a super billionaire who's in the public eye, guess what? They come out and go, I am Iron Man. Or, yeah. we're the Fantastic Four. Yeah. You know, they don't hide the fact that they're who they are. Oh, Okay, speaking oh. of Marvel versus DC uh -oh, and better than what, yada, yada. Yada, yada. Uh, Agent Carter, this, we, uh, I still love that show, but my DVR apparently doesn't like it. Because no. It just <laughs> oh. it skipped like three recordings, and I didn't Did your DVR know. Treat, treat Agent Carter like mine did, the X-Files? Yeah, I But I it guess. wasn't the Super Bowl's fault? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, I have no idea what happened, but it just, like the last two weeks, I guess they've had two episodes each night. Oh. And my DVR recorded zero of them. Oh, wow. And we didn't even realize it. I just assumed it was one of those things where they skipped a week, which they seem to do. Well, it's you know, ABC, sometimes. so they should be on demand. Yeah, they, that's they are. That's, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we that's prefer good. the DVR because we can oh, fast yeah. forward through commercials. Oh, I love having that in the DVR. That's yeah. the greatest. And thing. even uh, on demand, they're, they're, they're putting commercials in a lot of shit. I thought the on demand you'd be like commercial free. Right. No, yeah. Now it's, you can't even fast forward it. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but. The so we watched like three episodes or four episodes ago, uh, and it was great. It's like I, I would actually I said to Candy I would trade, uh, you know, based on the the rumor that they're going to cancel Agent Carter. You yeah, know. I know. I don't I would, know. Why you it's... know, if I had the power, I would trade Supergirl, Agent uh, or not uh, Legends of Tomorrow and uh, Arrow to keep. Uh, Agent I would definitely air, trade air. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for just about anything else. <laughs> Actually, I, mean, I like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. better than really? Arrow and no. Legends of Tomorrow, no, too. I don't, I don't like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, the only thing I've, I've watched and I'm a staunch Marvel half guy. of the uh, Agent Carter stuff, and the only thing I've got to complain about this is they took one of the very few Iron Man villains that's worth a damn and put her in the 40s. Uh, 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 Madame Misty. Madame Misty? Oh. Yeah, Whitney Frost. Oh, okay. She's is the main... Well, you know, she's made of zero matter. She probably doesn't age, so she can still be well, around when Iron Man uh, comes along. Go. She can Captain America this and ride to the future. Oh, yeah, and hit on guys half her age. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, she's... Yeah. I think I think the whole thing is that Tony knew her before she went batshit insane, though. Oh. Uh, I think he well, that could still happen she because she could be hiding he... as a villain and not know. See, that's Maybe one of those... Maybe it's her daughter. She's one of those characters in the that. comics that's 
no matter what you do, I'll always try to save you because I knew you before you went bad. Mm. So no matter how many people you kill or cities you destroy, I know there's good in you, and I will try to save mm. you anyway. I, oh, fuck you, Tony. Yeah. You pussy whoops. <laughs> oh, that was just a really, really hot piece of ass. It's, it must have been. That was like the best sex he ever had, and he's like, I got to turn her good because I can't be having sex with a villain. <laughs> nope. Well, or, you can. Or, I mean, or, the aforementioned Spider-Man has done that. Batman too with Catwoman. Yeah, right? he, he like off. has done that. So we're we're closing in on the Batman v v Superman, Superman. Uh, March twenty sixth, I think something like twenty fifth, twenty fifth. So, I and Daredevil is going to be around that same time too. That weekend, my, yeah. So my play a opens the weekend before, so come see that. Okay, um, there it's, you it's, go. We're not competing directly with them. <laughs> Are you going to fight Superman in your play? No, you no, should. That'd be awesome. That'll that'll save the whole. He's thing. He's afraid. He won't show up. Oh, whoa, whoa! whoa look at that. That's right, Superman. That's gonna be your opening <laughs> night. Got, like like the middle got. of your play, the whole ceiling's gonna come crashing down. Here comes Superman. He's gonna eye blast all of you. And if you want to come, if you want to come as Clark Kent, that's fine too. I will hit a man with glasses. <laughs> Who's Clark? Wait, Who? Clark Kent. The, Who's the that? reporter? What? The reporter? Yeah, he ain't Superman. He ain't Superman. Superman doesn't wear glasses, Will. Yeah, he's, he has perfect vision. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, ready to wrap? Yeah, yeah, we're there. We good? We good? Oh, we're good. All right. All right, let's see here. Do some Marvel trivia. I'm going to give Will a um, chance on these. Hank Pym. It would be hilarious if it was Hank Pym. <laughs> Hold on, let me read them and see. Okay, nope. How does the Hulk transfers, uh, transverse great distances? Jumping. Jumping. Okay, now real quick for extra points. This is not on the card. I and flapping his arms. He also flapped his arms. Many, it, when it was he docu- has little black holes in the bottom of his no, feet. No. And yeah. when it was documented, and I'm sure it's much more now. How many miles could he cover in one leap? Three, ten, three, three. Oh good. shit! I he guessed. Could leave. Couldn't Superman jump ten? Somebody could jump ten. Could, I remember. Uh, at one time, he could jump. Superman could jump an eighth of a mile. Eighth. That yeah. was before he could fly. Yeah. That's know, why he yeah. could he could you know jump. Can you imagine what the uh, hang time would be on that. You're like, Whoa. Well, that's how he can. Oh God, uh, jump buildings in a single bound. Yeah, because he could jump L- eight of them. leaping. What is Doctor Doom's real name? Doctor Doom's real name is Doctor Victor Von Doom. I doubt it's Doctor. I don't think he ever did graduate. Uh, it's Victor Von Doom, though. Yeah, I think Victor you're right. Yeah. Which Parker clone became a deadly villain? I know. Uh, Later hero, I guess. No, and, that's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> Parker Lewis. Kane. Kane. <laughs> now, because he's the evil brother, get it? Mary yes. Louise Parker. Okay, now this is... Hmm, trying to think when these come out. This could be different now. What is Magneto's real name? Eric well, Magnus. Uh, Eric, uh, Eric Lynchur or Magnus. Okay, it has, I mean, within recent time, it has oh, come yeah. out that Eric Lyncher was a made-up name okay. that he... Well, Magnus assumed. is a made-up name, Who obviously. is Hercules' mother? I'm getting in a little group. Hera. Nipple. Hera, yeah. Athena? Uh, it's one of those. No, his his mother is human, that's right. <laughs> I'm giving Matt the uh, stink eye here. Hera's his stepmother. Iris. Uh, Iris West. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'd I don't know her real name. As soon as it human. says it, I'll I'll know it. Yeah, I should. Okay, he no, jumps or super leaps. Uh, Victor Von Doom, Kane, Eric, Magnus, Lyncher. Oh, and I got them both. I'm not even going to try to announce or pronounce that. Oh, Alkmin, Alkmina, 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 Alkmina. <laughs> Is that a character? Well, no, I'm sure it's Greek mythology. Greek mythology. I don't know. That, that's a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fake. Kind of like Ajax. You know what? If you went back, <laughs> if you went back to ancient Greek, Greece, mythology. they're probably like Will. What the <laughs> fuck is Will? Yeah. That sounds made up. Is that your real name? Short for William. Well, I even what the hell is a William? William? Fine, it's Heraclitus. <laughs> now that's better. Heraclitus. Oh, did you catch that on the uh, Venture Brothers? She calls him Heracles. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brock Samson oh, is. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I've got a. I I think I just killed the guy with one punch. No, I think I just punched a guy to death. Uh, In the Venture Brothers, they moved to New York. So, so of course, there is a superhero team, and there is an an Amazon-type Wonder Woman. 
But she's got she's like one a breast. Thor, oh. Yeah, Thor, Thor so Wonder Woman Amazon. cross. Yeah, she's a real Amazon. And he always he's been making hits at her. Like that one breast thing doesn't really bother me any. Well, he finally gets this thing called the the God God Gas. God Gas goes to her hotel room and kind of um you know I, I'll do anything you want me to do. Oh, you know and he just professes his love. <laughs> That's where it ends with you. Mm -hmm. The latest that the new uh, episode, he wakes up in her room. And he's like, "What the hell?" He's on his stomach. He's like, "What the hell?" He rolls over to his back. Goes ah. Pulls down the covers and there's a like a whip of nine tails on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, she's classic uh, Roger, uh, Robert Maplethorpe. Version. I love I love the Green Arrow ripoff, Hawkeye, the, the Fallen Archer. He, he, he shoots feet. <laughs> yeah, he's got arrows with feet on the end. He's called the Fallen Archer. Oh, nice. It was so funny. <laughs> they hop back to him. <laughs> I well, just love it. Actually, that makes more sense than Hawkeye or Green Arrow having they, an, an infinite supply of arrows in their quiver. But, like, they, they show them. up and Brock saves and just starts kicking the whole <laughs> Avengers' ass. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's wrap her up. Okay. Um, send all complaints to, I'm starting to lose my voice, contact uh -oh. at Uh We also have a Facebook page at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. Like it! Yeah. Love it. Live it. Like it Do all three of those things. And get all the great stuff. Uh, we're also on Twitter at Scramblecast. Mm-hmm. Still uh, We are also on iTunes. So, you know, you should go there. And look us up, and subscribe, and review, yep. and that's what you should do. Uh, that's we're also simple. on YouTube. Um, that's just look for us on YouTube. Uh, you should subscribe to that too because we need the subscriptions to get a real name. They won't let us have a real name. Yeah, Which I don't know with all the YouTube crap going on lately, with the uh, copyright crap that's going on. Yeah. Might not be the best. I guess we got to earn money to be worried about that. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we don't. Well, yeah, no. It doesn't. So, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So we haven't talked about this on the show, but uh, if you're listening this far, you're a true fan. Yeah. Oh yeah. 121 episodes. And uh, I mean, no, I mean this far in this episode. Oh, okay. Uh, because yeah, yeah, but they would have like ball <laughs> sweat. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, we've rambled. We have rambled. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, we may be starting a live streaming version Maybe. of this yes. show. Well, that, We're that, talking that, about it. If I, I think that would be a work. good idea. But then if I, like, got to go to the bathroom or rip ass, then, like, just do it. No, we don't You'll hear it. let it flow. Whatever. We don't edit this. <laughs> that's yeah, true. We'll if I did it, it would this. still be in here. That, that's the great thing. Um, oh, but if you can't find any of those links, you can't find it, you're just like, I'm so lost, go to www.scramblebrainscast.com. It is a wondrous site. Yeah. It's amazing. It's angelic. Yeah. If you just enter, you enter our site, and things will go again. And a, you're bathed in a white light, and everything will be fine. <laughs> and then you die! Oh, no, All right. Well, goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other.